That's Rabbeinu Kadosh. That Rabbeinu, he said, I dropped everything. He said, I have the power to bring Mashiach. Rabbeinu said, I have the power to bring Mashiach. And I dropped it all in the side. And I chose, and that's the purpose of his life, to bring you back to be good. He said, I, I, I wanted to write a book that's going to solve all of the arguments in the Shulchan Aruch. To write a straight book that's going to solve all of the machlokot, all of the arguments between Ashkenazim, Sfaradim, the Ramah Shita, and the Rambam Shita, and the Shulchan Aruch, and what it's written in the Tur. Rabbeinu had the wisdom to write a book that's going to answer on all of the doubts, that's going to solve all of the doubts, that everyone going to keep the same halacha. And then he said, I decided not to write that book. Why? Because no one going to keep that book. So I decided to write the Likute Moran, and then I'm going to bring Bala Tshuva. It's better. It's better that you're going to have people that are looking for halacha than to have halacha and no one wants to keep it. So he chose to write the Likute Moran, that that's a book that people are going to do Tshuva because of that book. It's better than that the three guys that are going to stay are going to keep the straight Shulchan Aruch, no? It's better that it's going to be 3,000, 30,000, 30, 30, 3 million that are going to want to find the truth than three that are keeping it. That's better. It's better to have thousands of Baal Tshuva that searching for the truth than 10 or 5 righteous people that knows exactly what they should do. Who needs that? So Rabbeinu realized that. Rabbeinu brings us the power of Tshuva. The faith in the power of tshuva. To understand that there is always a chance that you can build something even after it's been ruined. As long as the candle is on, so you can still fix. How you say that? The candle is still lit. You can fix. You can fix. So I don't remember what's the name of that the, the, there was a, a, a Litvish rabbi, very famous, Rabbi Sal Misalan, that he said, I, I put a purpose for myself in my life to bring all of the world to do tshuva. He wanted to help all of the world to do tshuva. And I saw that it's too hard. So I decided that I'm going to work on my city, on my... on my. Rabbi Sal Misalan. Yesterday, the same rabbi that I talked to you about him yesterday, so he told me that story. And that's his shita, that's his lack of faith. So he told me that story in Rabbi Israel Misalant. He said, I decided to bring all of the world to do tshuva. Because I told him that that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing. So he told me, you know, Rabbi Israel Misalant, he said that also. I decided to bring all of the world to do tshuva. And then I saw that it's too hard. So I decided to help all of my state to do tshuva. And then I saw that it's too hard, so I decided to help all of the people in my city to do tshuva. And then I saw that it's too hard, so I decided to work on my shul, on my Bet Knesset. And then I saw that it's too hard, so I decided to work on my family. And then I saw that it's too hard, so I decided to work on myself to do tshuva. And it looks like it's coming down, but actually it's coming up back again, like we learned about the father of Shmuel Navi, um, Shmuel Elkanah, Elkanah, that he, it's written on Elkanah, that he was growing and growing. And the Gemara, they're asking what it means that he was growing and growing. That first of all, he became to be a man in his house, an important man, a righteous man in his house. And then he developed and they also respected him and he became to be a man in his shul and then in his city and then in his state and then he was calling all of Am Israel to come with him to go to 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 Beit HaMikdash. Am Israel already in that what? Shiloh. To Shiloh, to, 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 to the Mishkan be Shiloh. So all of Am Israel in that generation already forgot the importance of going in the holidays to Shiloh, to the Mishkan. Think about that. Already then they forgot. And he, no one can go and call all of Am Israel if he doesn't have the merit, if he doesn't have the schut. So where you purchase that schut, where you buy that schut, first of all, 
Be a righteous man in your house. Take responsibility on yourself, the tshuva. Be a man between you to yourself. Work on your attributes, on your midot, not to be angry, not to be sad, not to be depressed, not to be jealous. Work on yourself. And then your light already going to shine and it's going to affect your house and then it's going to affect all of the Bet Knesset and then the city and then the state and then United States also. It's going to illuminate the world.